Hey guys, it's uh, middle of uh, January out here, 2023 in Marietta, California. It's not super cold, but it does get cold somewhere around the 30 degrees. Probably nothing compared to back east for you guys, but I'm looking for the most efficient way to uh, heat up my home. And I'm gonna go into it right now. And if you guys can share any insight that have mobile modular homes, um, they have these old 80, it's an 84 home, have has an old 84 Coleman heating unit um with with these huge condensers that um that the heating elements rather that that suck about uh 120 amps because there's two sets of 60 amps in my breaker for for these um I, I know there's a better way out there so here we go all right guys so i have a 1984 mobile home and this portion right here was an add-on to the home from the previous owner back in the uh, 80s and then i added this guy this room I know it's hard to tell, but you can kind of see the split right there. And I basically painted it to make it look like one house. And this is the garage that came with the house. So in my in my office, this is my office, I have a mini split. And so the question for you guys that have experienced this, I have I have uh, underground ducts. Okay, I have underground ducts, and there's a slight flow, possibly a tear, is my guess, from the rats that were uh, tearing through the air ducts before. I haven't had one recently because I patched up that manhole right there that wasn't patched up when I moved in. Um, so I guess the question is, I want to have the most efficient heat for the house. I have this old 84 Coleman and it works. There's nothing wrong with it. It's about 30, the, this is the, in, the, the outlet from the sucking the air in the house going through here and then recycling it with the blower down here. The problem is this thing sucks a lot of energy, about 60 amps, two breakers a piece that's coming in right there. So the question I have is what is the most efficient energy source? I know it's going to be natural gas as I looked up, but I don't have, really have that option uh, here. I'd have to run it from the street and I'm pretty far away from the street. Um, I could possibly do pro propane, but again, I don't know if that's going to be sufficient because propane, my tank, I don't want to go through it faster than normal. Right now I'm going through maybe a 500 gallon tank, uh, every year for just doing basic stove. Cause I, I definitely want to cook with the propane stove, not electric. I don't like electric. And what else am I using that for? Um, I think also the, the dryer. So that could be an option, um, propane, but so the option would be either propane, I'd have to run a line under here, or switch this to um, a mini split. I know they make multiple mini splits. I'd have to go through each room. There's a total of three bedrooms and living space. So that's an option. Or um, a friend of mine said to go with, uh, who's an HVAC guy, uh, recommended I switch this whole thing out to um i can uh, the type of condenser that's kind of like a mini split but it's it's using um i can't even think of the name right now uh it's a different heat source instead of elements it's using um yeah i i, I can't remember it on top of my head i'll probably post it below this video once i i get the exact name down but um if you guys have experience with mobile homes modular homes um and you've seen one of these I know the mini split will get rid of uh, air ducts, so that's a benefit, but they look ugly on the wall, in my opinion. I don't like them <laughs> throughout the house. I, I, it's just my wife doesn't like them, and I would have to agree with her. So um, going with a replacement unit that uses 20, 20 25 amps um, for, for getting rid of these he heating elements that are sucking 120 amps would be, I think, ideal to go. But um, anyway, I'm going to post this video. I have a great feedback in my community of, of uh, YouTubers, and so I appreciate any feedback for those that are living on land and are trying to upgrade their older uh, modular home to a more efficient uh, efficient uh, uh, heating uh, space. Uh, I, I get it. I, I spoke to a guy that's an HVAC guy that says uh, typically in these modular homes you're losing 70 to 90 percent of a uh, source of of, of of heat because the insulation isn't very good in these which which is uh which is not incorrect um he, he's he's absolutely right so what i ended up also doing was removing the 
single pane windows and going with the double pane that did help somewhat especially in the summer when this house got really hot uh so that did help but yeah, i'm really just looking for advice um on taking care of this if it's worth even changing but i know that the heating elements suck a lot of juice and it's the most inefficient way of heating your home so appreciate you guys give me some feedback and i'd love to hear from you guys soon bye